Music levels can seem really intimidating to make if you don't have any music background. Today, you're going to learn the 10 steps to making an awesome music level quickly and easily in Super Mario Maker 2. Let's get started. First step, guys, is to find a MIDI file of the song that you want to use. I recommend picking a favorite video game song so that it's something recognizable and fun to work with that you know is going to sound good in the long run. So, what we're going to do is we go into the Google search engine here. Um, I am going to look up Dire Dire Docs, and then all you have to do is type in MIDI. It has to be a MIDI file for this process to work. The MIDI file takes the digital information of the notes and rhythms in a song, and it easily transfers it out for our next step. So, we go in here, we found the, the MIDI file, we're going to download it. Oh yes, ooh yeah. Okay, so download the MIDI file. There's lots of different websites to download it to. Our step number two is now going to be going to the Super Mario Maestro tool. I'm gonna to leave a link in the description below for that, as well as links to some Google Docs that uh, help go through this process as well, just in case you want a little bit more detail on certain things that maybe I don't cover. It's all gonna be down there. Shout out to H267, by the way, for this awesome resource. We're gonna browse right here, and I've got Dire Dire Docs ready to go. Open it up, and boom, we've got some music inputted right here. So it actually shows us exactly what to do. All right, so we've got it queued up. Let's listen to it and see how it sounds without messing with it at all. Okay, as you can tell, we're missing a lot of stuff. So that's step number three is listening to the initial playback. If I leave it as is, you can't really tell what song it is because we're missing a lot of sounds. If you look right here, you can notice that a lot of the stuff that's happening is underneath the screen. And there's a lot of empty space up top. So that's an issue for us. But the next step, which is step number four, we press this big old button here that says shift into view. So when we do that, everything slides upward and it gets the majority of the music in there. If you see these stats right here, notes above the screen, notes below the screen, we want these to be as low as possible. And if we mess with this little thing here, octave shift, you can see that it changes these values. We wanna get them as close to zero as possible. These are both green, so that's good stuff. So we wanna make sure though that we don't chop off the important melody notes the notes above the screen should be lower than the below the screen, in my opinion. All right, so now let's listen to it before we do anything else. All right, so now it's definitely recognizable, so we're doing a, a lot better here. Step number five, if there's a really long intro, which this one is, we're gonna have to shift some over. So if you notice, uh, the intro here is about half of what we're able to do. This is the amount of space that we're allowed to use. And the intro is actually going to take up about half of that. So what we're going to have to do is chop that down and we're going to find just where the main melody starts. So that's where the bulk of the music is going to be. You want to get to the recognizable part quickly. I've seen too many music levels that do the whole intro and then run out of space. Uh, in music levels, you can only use a certain amount of entities, which is how many enemies or power-ups that you can place in a level. So we hit that value really quickly. We hit the maximum. So you're going to want to cut out anything that's not essential for the music to make sense and sound good. We also need to figure out where you want to stop to make sure that it feels complete. So we'll get to that a little bit sooner. Okay, next up, step number six, we can adjust the tempo. So right here is different speeds of the music. Tempo just means the speed of the music. 60 is the same as a clock. So there's 60 seconds in a minute. There's 60 beats per minute as well. So think about it that way. If you've ever looked at the second hand on a clock, that's about 60. And so everything above that's obviously faster. Anything below that is slower. So we can be ridiculous. Let's try this. So that probably wouldn't work very well. 
it automatically selects what it thinks is best for you, but then you can adjust it from there. So let's try this one. So I think that's pretty nice. Um, I like the idea of swimming. I see most music levels just kind of in the ground theme. So I'm gonna try something different with Dire Dire Docks and make it a swimming course. Uh, we'll see how that goes, fingers crossed. Um, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, there's a swimming function. So we're, maybe we'll stick to that. See if we can make that work. That's step number six. Moving on to step seven, which is pick the sound that you want. So right now we're on Goomba, which sounds like the piano, but there are all these different sounds that we can use to make it fit with the original. So let's try a couple here. How about the Master Sword? It's close, it's close, but it's not exactly what I want. A synth organ might sound good. These are now one-up mushrooms. That's pretty good too. Um, one more, here's Chain Chomps Unchained. Yeah, to me that sounds exactly right. And I might even mix and match the different sounds that we can use to make sure that it kind of fits, everything fits together. So we'll get back into that. So now that we've got all of those elements in place, we can go to the course editor. I'm gonna use the new soup style here because I feel like it fits Mario 64 the best. And I'm gonna make sure to put the silent sound effect onto Luigi so the regular course music doesn't play while we're trying to get our, our music to play here. So now we just gotta place the note blocks so the player needs to move before they make sound, give some space before at the beginning of the level so that there's time before the sounds happen. When we place the note blocks and the chain chomps, we wanna make sure that we put a cloud in between so that when the chain chomp drops onto the block, he'll jump up, but then he'll just rest on the cloud. So he's not gonna continuously hit that note block. Otherwise, you're just gonna get a mess of sound and it's not gonna sound like the song that you want. So make sure you use either a donut block or a cloud or something to make sure it only hits the note block once. Step number nine, make any adjustments that we need to. See here, I took out a few notes to make it possible to swim through certain sections. Um, sometimes you've gotta do that because I wanna make sure that there's actual a pathway for the player to actually get through this course. Um, so you've gotta ch change some things around, but that's okay as long as it still sounds good. Um, I actually also added in spike as a low bass note. As you could see before, if we go back here, you can tell that not everything in the low end can be heard and not everything at the very top can be heard either. So what I did is I used spike as a little a bass note which sounds two octaves lower way lower sound in the same pitch and then we also used our star which is the same thing but up an octave which just means it's the same pitch one version higher of that pitch so using those we can kind of make it seem like we're fitting more notes within the entire thing and step number 10 i think music levels need to have some sort of gameplay involved it's too boring to me to just stand there and, uh, and have it be an auto level. I wanna do something. So in this course, I've added little secrets with coins and things. Obviously, because I've used so many chain chomps, I'm not able to place a lot of enemies, but I figured I could make it so that the player has to swim and try to collect some rewards and goodies while they play through the course. So that's what I did here. Let's check out the final result of the level and see how it turned out. Now that you've got an awesome music making tool, click on the playlist on the screen right now for level ideas in each course theme. 
If you want to continually get inspiration from Mario Maker 2, make sure to subscribe and click the bell. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.